Good morning, Hartsville Pike family and friends. Jesus had told his disciples that he would return to get them sometime after he had returned to heaven. They probably thought he would return during their lifetime and was looking forward to seeing him again. But they were worried. While they were waiting for Jesus to return, their loved ones were dying. What would happen to them? Would they be forgotten when Jesus comes back? This evidently was on the minds of the Christians at Thessalonica. And Paul wrote to address their concerns in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. and verse 13, he says, I don't want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep or those who have died, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. Notice Paul didn't say we shouldn't sorrow. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to shed tears. But if our loved ones died in Christ, we sorrow. But the difference is for the Christian, we have hope in our sorrow. Paul then tells them and tells us, what we as Christians have hope in these two facts. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those or go before those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. The first hope, resurrection. The grave is not the end. And then verse 17, Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. Notice, with them, we have hope of reunion, hope of resurrection, hope of reunion. And then Paul says to you and I, Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Remember, God loves you, and because he does, make it a wonderful day.